So big influence on your life. You tell everybody out there that you have to see The Graduate as sort of part of for Education 101 of film, right? Oh, my God. You have to see it. You, I'm sure it's required viewing. Is it? Is it required in film school? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Great yeah. movie. Big influence. And uh, who was the person who directed it? Mike Nichols. And did you sort of follow his career and admire him personally? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. He made my favorite movie ever. So he's a, he's a big dude. So look he made up. a lot of great movies. What other movies did he make? He made Silkwood, and he made uh, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, and you know, and then he got a little older, and, and he made more recently um, Charlie Wilson's War and uh, Wolf, and some other things. But Graduates always going to be my favorite movie. The Graduates, the standard. I think we have a picture of Scott as the Graduate. Uh, <laughs> was, was that taken when you graduated from school? No, believe it or not, that was. Uh, that was taken. There was a calendar made of a bunch of like assistants, and it, you know, mo all of them were really good assistants. And then there was me, <laughs> and they just did to sell for charity a picture of stuff, and they put me in that one. Uh, I still have that coat. <laughs> <laughs> and the movie's mentioned pretty prominently in your yeah. Movie there's a, there's a clip of the graduate. Yeah. You got that cleared, yeah. obviously. Mm -hmm. And so here's this person that you've admired for a long time, and. Did you hear from him after your movie came I out? I did. I did. He he sent me a uh, he sent me a text message that that I think he thought was an email because it was like you get the whole thing and then you get the whole thing and you get the whole thing and I didn't know what it was so I kept getting this thing and I was like who is this crazy person texting me all this stuff and um and then he signed it and I said that's who's the asshole's fucking with me and um, it ended up being he he'd gotten my phone number from somebody and he wanted to share that he really liked the movie which was. I cried. It was big time. When you got it. Oh yeah, that was crazy. Where were you when you got it? I was on an airplane when I got it. So that's why I kept getting all the things when I got off the airplane. But um, yeah, it was awesome. So you talk about dreams and someone who's made such an impact on your career and influenced your career and your, your view and then you get an email out of nowhere. You didn't know them. Right? No, you no. Know them. But that's what's so crazy about it. It's like you write a script and maybe, f I don't know, some people read it, but no one's going to read it. But then when you make a movie, like the people you actually are admire and whatever else, there's a decent chance they may see it. It's been on HBO a ton. So like, there's always a chance someone that you, you know, LeBron James might have seen it, <laughs> which would be crazy when you think about it. Like, really? But it's possible. <laughs> He's definitely not read the script. <laughs> so I, I want you to sort of put yourself in that position of getting that email from someone that you really, really admired. And he wouldn't share the email with me, but I got an excerpt from it. You got an excerpt from, it, from my sister? Fr from your sister. <laughs> hey, luckily, I know your sister, but and, and, and she said I could read this part only. But I want you to imagine getting this email, and this is the short version, so it's only a couple sentences from Mike Nichols. I loved your movie. My wife did too. My wife, Diane Sawyer. Yeah, that's true. We laughed a lot and cried a lot. I was and am fascinated by the structure which is like no structure I have ever seen. And it works. It is utterly mysterious to me, and it worked for me. I probably don't need to understand it, since it moved me so much and gave me so much pleasure. That's unreal. That's unreal. Yeah, that was cool.